This is a case of a six-year-old dog who recently had a cranial cruciate repair and had been doing okay in the recovery, doing pretty well, getting more and more ambulatory. However, he started to regress and get less and less able to walk and having more difficulty and lameness in that leg. The dog was brought back into the clinic to take a look and see what was going on. The veterinarian noticed that there was a lot of oozing to the incision and it was very red and very painful. So they decided to take an aspirate of the joint to see if there was anything going on there and that's what we're looking at. It was wall to wall neutrophils. Definitely not normal in a joint. Joints really should be very low cellularity normally. This was insane. Tons of neutrophils, which we can see here. And importantly, they look degenerate, meaning that their nucleus is really puffy. That makes us very concerned that there is bacterial infection going on. And we actually didn't have to look around very long to find the bacteria. Here in these two neutrophils, there are little rod bacteria there in the cytoplasm confirming bacterial infection. This is a septic joint not a good situation and come to find out after talking to the owners more the veterinarian found out that they had not been diligent about keeping the e-collar on this dog it had been licking this incision since it had its surgery and that was the impetus for this septic process happening here just a psa keep your e-collars on your dog you do not want this